This video is sponsored by Rose Gold and Black, so go ahead and click the link in the description. They are having a Black Friday sale, but for now, let's get to the video. What up, fellas? It's your boy, Johnny, and today I'm gonna be giving you guys a little tour of my office and studio. You know, before this, I was in New York City. I shared a room with Frugal Aesthetic, and that was the living room, the bedroom, and the office. It was really cramped, but it was a great time living with Christian. I learned a lot. And then I got to the point where I was able to do YouTube full-time because of you guys. Y'all are awesome. So today, I'm gonna give you guys a tour of my my office and studio. So, starting it off, create, because in here we only create. Open it up. Now, I have these studio lights set up so I can light up the room, but yeah, starting off, let's just start off with the studio lights. These are come from Amazon. These help light the videos and produce a great image for YouTube because I'm into that type of look. I don't like to produce very low quality videos, um, even though this is a uh, kind of low quality because your boy has been stressed, so Johnny, don't edit too much in this video, all right? talking to you but let's move it on to this board right here this is my goals board everyone should be writing down their goals I know this seems very high I'm not even close to any of these but when you have the mentality of trying to reach these goals when you look at these goals you're gonna put in that type of effort if I just put well, I want to hit 50k by next year well I'm gonna put 50k effort in I'm not too far away and I wouldn't get as far as if I put 500k half a million most likely I'm not gonna get to that, but I'm gonna have the effort of trying to reach 500K and I'll probably reach higher than if I set like a 100K goal or something like that. So that's a little pro tip for you guys. And we got this right here. This is the gimbal that I used to shoot a lot of my videos. We got some dry erase markers. We got my backpack and then we got the desk setup. Now the reason I really like this desk is because it is a standing desk. If we head over here to this right here, just tap to unlock it. One is the setting where it'll be for standing i usually move my chair out the way then i can just stand and work on this desk a lot easier you become more productive whenever you're standing up because motion creates emotion as far as the contents on the desk these are the lenses i use for my youtube videos i'm gonna link as much of this stuff in the description as i can i know it is the holiday season and black friday and all that maybe you guys are gonna want to pick up something but this is the 55 millimeter 1.8 this is the best lens for sony if when it comes to shooting portraits outfit pictures i use this lens a lot this is the 16 to 35 lens millimeter lens i don't use this as much because it's an f4 lens and you have to really jack up the iso or shoot at a lower frame rate and change the shutter speed but this has been very versatile because it's a 16 to 35 so it zooms in and out and you can use it to create some pretty dope shots got some batteries for my gimbal cameras for the battery got a nail clipper and then here's the monitor we got my mechanical keyboard that i got on amazon um, I don't know what whose brand this is, but honestly, I'd probably prefer a brand like Corsair or Razer, but this does the job. This is my Huawei MateBook X Pro. It's the MacBook knockoff because I am a broke boy. <laughs> and uh, we got the Logitech MX Master 2, the best mouse of all time. They just came out with the new one with the USB Type-C port. This is a mouse from Razer. Um, and then we got my headphones. These are the Sony WH-1000XM3s. That's a mouthful. This is the best headphones I've ever tried. I wore this all the time in New York City and I cannot hear anything. I don't use it as much anymore except for when I'm editing because I don't live in the city anymore in New York City. I'm back in New Mexico. I've gotten so much use out of it. I know Black Friday, there's probably some Black Friday deals going on right now. My AirPods, the original ones. So that means I'm not as rich anymore because the AirPods Pro came out. So yeah, but these, I use these for editing sometimes whenever I don't feel like using these. Then we got the uh, USB hub, all my hard drives right here. Um, I need to get more storage because I'm running low. We got a limb roller, a plant, and then these pop figures. Uh, we got Boba Fett, Darth Maul, um, because Star Wars is one of my favorite series of all time. What's your guys' favorite episode? Mine is episode three, and that's because I am a millennial. But then we got my Halo pop figure right here. Halo 3 is still one of my favorite games of all time. Um, we got my water bottle here because I need to hydrate. We got the tripod, which I use whenever I film my videos. Then we got some sound foam. This place used to be so echoey until I put all these in and then all the, the furniture and stuff inside here. Pro tip, if you guys are a creator, get some sound foam. It's not gonna echo as much. And it also looks pretty cool if you can design it really well. And then we got this wall out right here because I miss New York City. I'm gonna be moving back there as soon as I make enough money. And then we got this right here. This is the mic stand. So there's a, a mic on this camera. You guys probably hear it right now. I usually put the mic stand right here, bend it over. Pause, and then you put the mic right here and then it faces down. You usually just move it out of frame and then the mic will still be right here and it gets really good audio. So that's a pro tip for you guys um, 
also being creators don't put it on your camera try and get the mic as close as you guys can as possible Two boxes i left a lot of them in new york city so i just took the ones where i could resell the kicks if i needed to and here are the kicks so these kicks right here this is a little sneak peek of my sneaker collection these are just like my favorite sneakers that i don't wear too much except for like special occasions or when i'm at shoots probably except for this one this is probably i wear this more but we got the Akron Prestos. This is the second gen. This was an impulse buy. I think Christian and I were talking about it and then he got the, the pink and blue ones and I just decided to get this one. It was really cheap too. Then we got my Jordan 1 Royals, the second pair of Jordans I ever got. The Nike React LMA 87s, one of my favorite sneakers. Very versatile, can go really well with the active wear look, tech wear, or just lifestyle. Bread 1s, classic sneaker, it's never gonna get old. I do prefer the bread toes now that they released, but the bread ones, still a great sneaker. Yeezy Power Phases, probably the most worn sneaker I have in my entire collection besides Vans. You get the cream retro look. It works with pretty much every aesthetic. It's easy to throw on and it's pretty comfortable as well. And then we got the Holy Grails, the Union LA's Jordan 1's. Big shout out to Christian. I know I mentioned him a lot in the video, but he's been a big part of my life and he's really helped me shape this channel and actually helped me improve my channel in general. He gifted these to me when I moved back to New Mexico and because he was just like downsizing his collection, man. So I was, I'm truly grateful to get these from him. Such an awesome sneaker. Then we got this clothing rack. This clothing rack I got on Amazon as well. It's got an industrial look. So it's like pipes and shit like that. Only use this as a background for my videos, but you can also use it in your place if you have a tinier place. Like if you live in New York City, you don't have a closet, get one of these and hang all your clothes. You can put all your shoes down there. You're good. Yeah, I usually rotate these out in my uh, main closet in my bedroom just to switch up the look of the videos. We got my sling bags right here. This comes from Orbit Gear, tactical bag from Amazon, really, really cheap. We got a Herschel bag down here and a bandana. And then we got the plant for some added texture, color, and uh, just some liveliness in the, the studio because fake plants are what's up. Without fake plants, this place would be boring. Then we got some more sound foam right here. I like to design it as well as I can just to make the room a lot more interesting and stop echoing as much. And then we got this light right here. So the battery's charging right now, but I usually put this in the background of my videos. Just add a pop of color. Yeah, there you go. That adds a pop of color to the video. So it's not as boring or bland and I can just move this around anywhere I want. Chair right here, this is from Amazon. Very comfortable. Has some back support, not too bad of a price. I just move the desk down whenever I want to sit and then just move it away whenever I'm ready to work standing up. Here's the second studio light and that's, I mean, aside from more sound foam up here, that's pretty much it. I do have a bathroom right here, but a bathroom's a bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah guys, that is pretty much it. You guys saw a ton of decorations inside here. And that really is what makes the studio mine, you know, or bedroom yours. If I didn't add my own taste to the studio, it'd just be plain boring and probably just empty, you know? <laughs> and I like to think of decorations like this as like your accessories for your outfits. So that's why this video is sponsored by Rose Gold and Black. Accessories are a huge part of my outfits. You guys know that. And I say it all the time, accessories express who you are as a person, it expresses your taste just like the decorations in my place express my taste. So right now, if you guys click the link in the description, it's gonna take you to my specific landing page. They have a huge, huge Black Friday discount. Plus, if you guys enter the code Black Friday, you're gonna get an additional 10% off. So if you guys have been thinking about picking up an accessory from Rose Gold and Black, I definitely highly suggest doing it right now. You're probably not gonna see a deal like this again until next year. A lot of their beaded bracelets and necklaces go really well with my outfits. They're super minimal. You can color block it really well with your outfits. If you just go on their site right now without going to my homepage, their prices are a little bit pricey. So that's why if you guys click the link in the description, you guys are going to save a ton of money. And honestly, the support from you guys, if you guys buy anything, helps so much. I don't make any commission off of it, just to be transparent. But yeah, go and check them out. Thanks, Rolls Gold and Black, for sponsoring this video. And I hope this video helps you guys out. If you guys are a creator or just want a really awesome setup, I really do hope this video helped you guys out. I'm going to link everything in the description as I can. Those are our Amazon affiliate links, just so you guys know, because it is Black Friday. If you guys click on any of the Amazon links and buy anything, I do make a tiny commission on that which does help support the channel in the long term. But yeah, guys, what else should I add in here? Let me know what video you guys want to see next. Just want to thank you guys again for making this possible. I was only able to go full time on YouTube because of your guys' support and because of sponsors like Rose Golden Black and many others. So yeah, this studio, this whole YouTube lifestyle I'm living right now, you guys are very much a part of that as I am working towards it. You know, Thanksgiving just passed and man, I'm just so grateful and thankful for all you guys that just choose to listen to me yell at a stupid camera all day long. So yeah, appreciate it guys. If you haven't already followed me on Instagram, 
go ahead and do that at Fly with Johnny Ty. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. And until then, stay fly, stay animosity free, get some good deals on Black Friday, and I'm out, bro. Peace.